get started on this, we're going to go click New. Make sure it's a DWT, and it's the ACAD DWT, so we'll click Open. All right, so click Line. We're going to start by drawing a line that goes straight across, so F8 to turn ortho on, and we're going to go over 6 inches. All right. We're also going to go up 6 inches, back to the left 6 inches, and then C to close. Now I'm going to double click the mouse wheel and then zoom out just, zoom back just a little bit. Uh, so let's see. Um, we got to offset these right here. So we'll click the offset command. So when you click offset, the first thing it does is you got to specify your offset distance, and that distance is going to be 0.2. So we'll set that distance at 0.2. Uh, then we can select the object to offset, and I'm going to select this one. And I'm going to click that line and then move the direction that I want to offset it. Click that line, move the direction I want to offset it. So I want those to go inward. All right. Right click when I'm done, enter, and then we're out of that. So next, we'll click trim. Now I'm just going to use the trim feature here that says select the cutting edges. So I'm going to select that as my cutting edge and this as my cutting edge. I'm going to right click with the mouse and then click that little section of line and that little section of line. I'll also do this outside part there. All right, so that's using them as cutting edges. You can also click trim and just right click with your mouse right away and it inherently thinks, all right, he's trying to use this, those lines as cutting edges there and I can click right on that. This way is actually faster, but you can't use that all the time. So you have to know how to use both ways. All right, so that's the border of this thing, right? So what we'll do here is we're gonna go over to the other side, off to the side here. So we gotta center all this thing on here. We're gonna end up using the O-snap settings to center it all on there, okay? So let's click line, and we're gonna start right here, and we will go up. 1.4. We're going to go left 1.4. Go up 0.2. Go right 1.4. The center section is 1.6. And then we'll go back out 1.4. Go up 0.2. Go left 1.4. Go up 1.4. Don't forget if I'm going too fast, pause it and go back. The go to the right 0.2. Go down 1.4. It's a center section, so we'll go 1.6. Go up 1.4. Go left 0.2. Down 1.4. To the right 1.4. Go down 0.2. Go to the left 1.4. Go down 1.6. Go to the right 1.4. Go down 0.2. Go to the left 1.4. Go down 1.4, go to the right, 0.2, go up, 1.4, go left, 1.6, go down, 1.4, and then C to close. Now you could do that same thing with lots of trimming and all kinds of other stuff. It's uh, It can be done. The center section is really interesting because there's a little cube that goes right here, or a little box that goes right here in the middle. So we're going to go ahead and click line. We're going to make that one 1.6. 1.6 and 1.6 and then close all right so that's got to be put in the middle of this and this is going to be put in the middle of that so what we're going to use is we're going to use a whole lot of midpoints here but we've got to make some construction lines to do it so um, right now mine's not set so I can grab midpoint so if I clicked move and tried to move this whole thing it's going to and so like I right click now and it's asking for a base point, it's trying to pick an end point. And that's not doing me any good because I want to draw a construction line right across the middle. I guess I could draw one from this end point here to that end point, but what I need to do is have uh, those uh, an end point there and an end point there. Um, well, I can do this. So I'll do the same thing here. Go across this one from that end point to this end point, and I'll do the same on this right here right so instead of doing all the crazy math to center all of these things I'm gonna use the O snap settings to do this so I'm gonna shift right click right away come right down to the bottom here we're gonna change some things after doing this teaching this stuff for nine years and being in industry there's things I've figured out one you don't need extension line uh, checked 
Um, you also want to check your midpoint, and you probably want to check insertion point. Intersection is great to have. You're going to find that you are going to use quadrants a lot. You're probably going to use node. You'll definitely use center. We're going to use tangent and perpendicular a lot. But if you check those right now, it's going to mess a lot of things up. So the basic ones that you'll use the most of are endpoint, midpoint. Uh, as far as lines go, you're going to want to know where they, they intersect. You're also going to want to use the center points uh, of your circles as opposed to quadrant points. Center, You could check quadrant points, but it's going to throw you off because the center points are where your machinist drills the holes. All right. Um, insertion points are going to... Uh, they come in with blocks and text and those kinds of things. So that one's uh, kind of an easy one to pick. So instead, don't select all, don't cl clear all of them. Check insertion, endpoint, midpoint, center, and intersection. So now those should be your standard settings. So now if I click move, and I'm going to move this, click move, select my objects, I'm going to do click there, and I'll left click here again right click and I'm going to say my base point is this midpoint right here. See it automatically picked the midpoint and I'm going to go automatically to that midpoint right there. See how everything's lined up? Click move again, do a window around this, right click my base point right here so I'll left click the base point, go to that midpoint right there. Alright so now I'm just going to click erase and I'm going to do a crossing over those things. It tells me there's three things there, three lines even though it looks like two, one's drew over top of the other. Right click and enter, double click the mouse wheel. Notice I didn't do any of the math to tell me how far over this way I had to offset and all that kind of stuff. I just used the OSNAP settings to get, to get it centered where I wanted it to be. All right. Now, this so far it's taken me about six minutes to make this. Without all the jibber jabber and talking, uh, you could probably get this done, could have gotten this done, uh, probably in about three minutes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click Save. This will be Part E. And go ahead and plot that. All right. Best of luck on the next one. We're going to be using uh, a couple other new commands.